Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. We're kicking off another fantastic week here at Gulfstream Park. We have an eight race card, so let's go to those track weather conditions and turn it over to track announcer, Peter Aiello. Racing at Goldstream. Sprite's Lady off very poorly at the back. On the far outside, Motherwell, one of the first to break the line with Frankie's girl into the top flight and map them up as in the purple between horses. The gray choose to be happy as along the rail and Divine Exchange gets started wide ahead of her. Then back to Panati. She's angled far outside for racing room. In tight while racing between runners is Starry Hope. Then it's back to Kaitany and after the slow start, the trailer is Sprite's Lady. Map em Up now challenging Motherwell for the lead behind an opening quarter of 25 seconds flat. Map em Up has the lead by a neck. Motherwell holds inside ground and races from second. Luis Saez has hold of Divine Exchange, third in the two path. At the rail, that's Frankie's girl covered up fourth for Bridge Mahan. A length and a half better than Panati, who's well settled in fifth. The Gray choose to be happy, six toward the rail, back to seventh in Starry Hope. Kaitany is eighth, and ninth and last is Sprite's Lady with a little more than half a mile to go. The opening half mile was 49 and two as they leave the back stretch and move on to the four turn. It's Amisael Jaramillo and Motherwell the target. They lead by a neck. Map them up is second, three wide Divine Exchange third, four wide. Panati launching her bit on the far outside, held up in traffic is Frankie's girl. Starry Hope and choose to be happier next. Sprite's Lady is near the back of the group. The trailer is Kaitany as they round the four turn. Three wide, here's Divine Exchange to put a neck in front. Panati tries to run with her on the far outside. Starry Hope has momentum. We Weaving through traffic, both choose to be happy and Frankie's girl. They straighten for the drive. Still many chances here. Up on the outside, Divine Exchange sticks a neck in front. Map them up. Very game as Frankie's girl looks to angle for racing room. Panati on the far outside. Here's Panati surging forward on the outside of Divine Exchange. Panati now takes the lead late and Panati wins and wins going away. Divine Exchange was second. Frankie's girl third in 145 and two. Race favorite headline hunter, one of the first to break the line. Moving with her is Silver Cloud. They race on out of Lucky Latkes, who comes away from the top shelf. She's now third. Driving through at the rail, code name Lease, to race it together with Smooth Pebble, and out the back is High Fair. They make their way past the half mile and move to the far turn. Javier Castellano has a very strong hold of Headline Hunter, who enters that far turn, widening on a two-length lead. Silver Cloud is second, code name least third, Smooth Pebble between horses. Lucky Lockes is out three deep on the course, and the trailer is high fair. They run to the top of the stretch, past a quarter in 22 and one. The leader is Headline Hunter, less than a quarter of a mile from home. She's three on top. Silver Cloud flat to the boards while trying to make an impression toward the outside and Lucky Latkes. They straighten for the drive with an eighth of a mile remaining. Headline Hunter trying to finish it up here. Silver Cloud still close enough to land a blow with a 16th to run. Headline Hunter clear, Silver Cloud gaining, but not gaining quick enough to catch Headline Hunter. She went all the way. Silver Cloud second, Lucky Lock is third, High Fair is up fourth in 57 flat.
and they're off from the setter that's Adelai who heads off for the early lead here's the gray platinum moon moving to challenge from the outside only time has speed wider than them and silverleaf from the top shelf not much pace on here as silverleaf looks to stride forward around platinum moon and they run around the first turn only time is third Adelai is their fourth up on the inside and my risky affair together with race favorite Oakhurst Senora Doral settles in at the back of the field and the trailer is Mandorla Around the first turn they go. Corey Lannery and Silverleaf have worked over from the high draw to lead three parts of length. Off the flank of the leader and into the clear goes Platinum Moon from second. Up on the outside only time is now third. Adelai is there fourth. Back to fifth goes Oakhurst. Then it's back at the rail to My Risky Affair together with Senora Dora. Uh, Doro rather, and the trailer is Mandorla. Less than five furlongs remaining here. Silverleaf has the lead three parts of length. Up on the outside and only time is a tugging now three wide second. Challenging Platinum Moon for that position. Adelai, meanwhile, stays put at the rail for Gaffleon ahead of Oakhurst. Then My Risky Affair. Senor Doro is uh, second last and the trailer is Mandorla. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. There's three furlongs left to go. It's Silverleaf, who's been in front from the outset and still nurses a length advantage. From the outside, here's only time. Three wide, Platinum Moon, loose rain between. Adelai stays put toward the rail. Here's the favorite, Oakhurst. Irat Ortiz Jr. has her in the clear, and she starts to hit high gear now. Still plenty of chances, though, as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, and they can turn in with Silverleaf, still the target. From the outside, and now running on is Oakhurst. From between horses, Platinum Moon. Only time is with them with an eighth of a mile remaining. Silverleaf tackled by it wide by Oakhurst who strides forward. Oakhurst out in the center doing the best work and she'll win it. It's Oakhurst going away at three to five. Platinum Moon second, only time third. Up fourth, My Risky Affair, 145 and two. And uh, they're off. Tune in was away smoothly from his outside gate. Moving out the rail, I'm a G6. Splitting horses, here's the big gray Luddington put into play. Down at the rail, Nixon Joy won't be far away as they splash out of the chute. With the advantage, it's Luddington taken on by Tune in. Tune in for the lead. Amashriq second, Luddington third. Fourth is Universal Payday. Angled to the far outside is I'm a G6. And the trailer is Nixon Joy. The opening quarter complete with two in in front. From the outside, Alma Shriek keeps the heat on in second in the clear as I'm a G6 striding into third while on the far outside. Universal payday in and amongst rivals with the gray Luddington and the trailer is Nixon Joy. Less than five furlongs remaining here. The leader to his tune in, three parts of a length. Alma Shriek second, I'm a G6 in hand third. Up to fourth goes Luddington ahead of Universal payday and Nixon Joy is last. 47 seconds for the opening half mile as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three furlongs left to go. It's tune in on top by a length. I'm a G6 is second. Universal payday driving hard, trying to gain ground while third. Fourth at the rail in Luddington, dropping back Alma Shriek. Never involved Nixon Joy. Tune in tries to sneak away. There's a quarter of a mile left to go and tune in is still the target. Universal payday at a big number has been working hard, but he's up into second now. I'm a G6 is next, but tune in cuts the corner and opens up. Down the center, Universal Payday is clearly second, then I'm a G6 in Luddington, but with a 16th to go, tune in, making 6-5 to five look like easy money as he'll win while never threatened by five in the end. Universal Payday was a clear second, Nixon Joy rallied for third, I'm a G6 was fourth, and then Luddington, 136-1.
and they're off. Level beginning. Soon after the start, Mia Kamiya reaches out for the early lead. Down at the inside, Sunatra has speed. These two race on at a very genteel early pace from Uncaptured Grace, who comes away third up to the outside in golden effect. Saving ground at the rail is Gurley the Butcher. Racing between horses and only about three lengths off the lead is Luna Antonia. Then it's a length back to School Dance. Outside of her goes Artificial Intel. Mid-flight and about seven lengths off the pace setter. Second last is Strong Embrace, and the trailer is Spread Joy. The leader is Swunatra. She leads by length over Mia Kamiya, who races from second. It's a gap of two to Uncaptured Grace, who's now third. Luna Antonia is racing from fourth. Golden Effect is three wide fifth. Next to Gurley, the Butcher, who's racing sixth. On the far outside, an artificial intel. School dances in the red between horses. Followed second last by a strong embrace. The trailer remains spread joy as they make their way less than five furlongs from home. Swanatra leads and leads three parts of a length. It's been a good trip for the race favorite Mia Kamiya, who races up on the flank of the leader. A length and a half better than Uncaptured Grace, who's third toward the rail. Golden Effect gets started for Hernandez. Into the top flight is she. She's five lengths behind. Next is Gurley the Butcher ahead of School Dance. Artificial Intel not progressing. Strong Embrace. She's underway for Jose Ortiz, starting to make some stealthy headway as they try to reach Swanatra, who has the lead. Swanatra tackled outside by Mia Kamiya, who's up to take on the leader second. Golden Effect swung to the center run captured grace is next as they straighten for the drive mia kamia comes off the corner with the lead swanatra is their second school dance swung to the center to punch home strong embrace is next here comes school dance lifting up on the outside and far outside strong embrace strong embrace and jose ortiz over the top they were always traveling well they finished best to win it strong embrace is in front school dance was second mia kamia ran third closer fourth here girly the butcher or swanatra in the fifth And they're off. Good start out wide for Whiskey on his lips. Back at you has speed. Gilligan is moving through to challenge and Rayo Colorado being put into play for some forward position as they race to the half mile point. From behind the speed, that's Active Valor. He's racing second last, and it's a gap of three to Oriental Park, who's last of all. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. Back at you on the inside. Whiskey on his lips on the outside. Their heads apart and going aggressively. They've opened four on Rayo, Colorado. Active Valor's on his outside. Gilligan is in tight and shuffled back in Oriental Park with some pace ahead of him. Finds himself about eight lengths behind as they run to the top of the stretch. The battle rages on with back at you. Just a neck in front. From the outside, Whiskey on his lips making him work awfully hard. From the back, Prado swings Oriental Park to the center for an upset threat, and they're at the top of the stretch. Off the turn and the stretch drive, back at you. Leads by two, Whiskey on his lips is second. Oriental Park is up to third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Back at you, responding to all challenges. He's still clear. Whiskey on his lips, fighting the good fight, but defeated by back at you. Under jockey Tyler Gaffleone, he wins by almost two. Second, Whiskey on his lips. Oriental Park is third. That's a three-way go for fourth, and Gilligan, might have got up in 105 and 3. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney.
And they're off. Poor beginning for Menelik at the back. Not an especially quick start for Uno Tiger either. It was a good start out in the center for Rebelde, who's reaching out for the early lead. Tiz Rye time has a touch of speed. And here's Gump, sent through inside by Ortiz. Gump to put a neck in front. Man on the Moon is now second from Embrace My Uncle, who's in third up to the outside. That's Rebelde, who's in fourth, just to his inside, and Tiz Rye time. After slow starts, the trailers are Uno Tiger and Menelik. Field separated by about eight lengths in the run past the five eights. The quarter time was 23 and four. It's not flying, it's not crawling either for Gump, who has the lead by almost two. Embrace my uncle is second. Man on the moon is on his outside. Kept in the clear is Rebelde with Tiz Rai time working between horses. Uno and Tiger is improving toward the rail. The trailer is Menelik. Into the far turn through the opening half mile of 47 seconds flat. They start to take closer order. Gump is the target. Embrace My Uncle is second. Man on the Moon is three wide, four wide. Rebelde. Tiz Rai Time needs a way out. So does Uno Tiger. Menelik tries to gather some momentum from the back of the field. They're really tightly knit here, only separated by four lengths as they run past the 5 sixteenths. Irat Ortiz Jr. and Rebelde with a big sweeping move to put a neck in front. Embrace My Uncle is with him. Uno Tiger working into the clear. Man on the Moon floats out. Tiz Rai time gump back pedals and they're at the top of the stretch rebelde set sail for the money with a two-length lead here's uno tiger lifting up on the outside and starting to gain some ground rebelde close to home with uno tiger gaining on him embrace my uncle back through on the fence three chances here rebelde still there it's rebelde to win it Rebelde game and victory as he turned away challenges on both sides. Embrace my uncle was game toward the rail he was second uno tiger finished third at 137 and two Runners away. Good start for Wicked Finn out in the center, who reaches out for the early lead. Bonissimo moves through at the rail. Xi'an BC comes away to race in third. Out the rail, it's exponential, sees the hay between, and three deep on the course is Stanford. There is no pace on. It's a sedate, or a sedate early gallop, and Wicked Finn leads by a length and a half over Bonissimo in second. Xi'an BC in the two path races from third. Exponential parked at the rail in fourth, sees the hay is on hold while tugging in between runners. Wide on the course at the back of the field is Stanford. The opening quarter quite below. 25 and 4. They race into the backstretch now. Angel Arroyo and Wicked Finn have the lead. They're comfortable up front with a length advantage. Bonissimo is second. She on BC now park three wide third. At the rail, Exponential is there fourth. Patiently handled at this point with Stanford on the far outside. And in between horses, it's still a headstrong. Sees the hay. They make their way to the half mile point of the contest through the opening half mile posted in 50 and four. Wicked Finn has been in front from the outset, maintains control a half a length. In the two path, Bonissimo second, Xi'an BC third. Exponential gets the hurry up in the green light to move forward. Seed the Sahay is still in amongst rivals with no place to go. Stanford giving up ground, but he's only three lengths off the lead as they round the far turn to the top of the stretch. Wicked Finn held together by Arroyo, still a neck in front. Bonissimo is up alongside in second, sees the now given his head, he's three wide third, four wide she on BC. Exponential didn't fire as they straighten for home. Bonissimo up to have a crack at Wicked Finn. These two kick on with an eighth of a mile to go. Wicked Finn and Bonissimo, these two brush. She on BC and sees the hay still right there. Sixteenth to go. Bonissimo trying to straighten up. She on BC and sees the hay between. Sees the hay surging, but sees the hay missed as Bonissimo held on. Sees the hay second. She on BC's in a show photo with Wicked Finn. 145 and 2. And that wraps up Wednesday's card. We're back at it again on Thursday. Nine race card, our first race post, 12.30 p.m. Boy, you got to be at Gulfstream Park. Good night. Good luck. <laughs>